Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Another quick video with a troubleshooting tip for a VL3000 spot or 3500 spot. Uh, this probably won't work on a 2500 um, because all the motor drivers are uh, kind of welded directly on the PC board. As you can see, there are no sockets. And on the VL3000 and 3500 spots, the old models, uh, they all have sockets like these for the motor drivers. So usually, when a motor acts kind of like this, and does pretty much moving backwards, forward, doesn't really know where to go. You see, it kind of jerks back and forth. Uh, usually, uh, you'd probably look at this and if the connections are okay, you'd probably say, hey, I have to replace the driver, you know, the driver's blown. And you'd be right because it is a driver problem. Uh, but at the same time, in this case, the driver is not dead. Uh, it's just that these boards are fairly old and now they're getting uh, a little loose, maybe some dirt getting in the contacts. So it does something like this. You see the motor going back and forth. So before you start opening, disassembling the MCB and trying to uh, replace motor drivers, uh, simply go here behind your car and you know that the drivers are all aligned in the back here. So if you look at the motor here, we just go push the drivers back in place just to be sure and then you see motors going great again so this is probably gonna save you a lot of time if you're on a gig and you're uh, trying to test the fixtures and you see a parameter like this doing pretty much anything before replacing MCBs or opening them up to try and change the drivers just try to push on the back here just at first first thing you do to make sure that it's not just the uh, contact problems that the sockets are dirty or something like that uh, we get these troubles a lot these fixtures are fairly old so that's a really good tip it's a lifesaver it's gonna save you hours in the end you know that you don't have to replace everything and change every driver so it happens a lot on VL 3000s on iris parameter that the iris driver is the one that's all the way down on the bottom here by itself so he tends to get out of the socket a little more so you just push it in and the iris will start working again so it's pretty much the same with all parameters so if you see a, a motor going back and forth or being noisy that you know it's a driver problem a power problem just try to push the drivers back in the in the sockets again before you replace drivers or you know change mcbs so thanks for watching that was another uh, quick tip please uh, subscribe to my uh, youtube channel like my facebook page and uh, if you need suggestions of fixtures that you would want a video or something you'd like to see just post in the comments so there you go thanks for watching